What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Amigas, you saw the title of the video, girl. Did you see that I got some dose of colors? Girl, I got this package right here full of goodies. I already tried them out, put them all over my face, girl. Of course, I'm doing a full review, a try on first impressions. You guys already know the drill and how it goes up in my channel. And if you're brand new to my channel, girl, let me kindly introduce myself. My name is Alma Rivera. I like to do makeup videos, I give you guys my first impressions on not only new launches, but stuff that I've never tried out before. So that's exactly how it goes down in my channel I'm me 100% transparent I tell it like it is and that's just what it is better yet you guys I'm gonna be giving you the full cheese man oh and by the way they did give me a discount code girl so I can hook my amigas up if you guys like anything on the video you guys can use my name Alma and you guys can get a 20% off discount any of the products that I'm showing you or any of them on the website okay y'all ready girl let's do this Suavemente. Okay, let me pin my hair back real quick because we do not want it all over my face. You guys have no idea how pumped I am to be recording this video right now. So I got that good energy going through my body right now. So we're going to be reviewing the Dose of Colors package that I received in the mail about a week ago. So I saved it for a YouTube video because I felt like it deserved a full long clip. Like first impressions, you guys already know how it rolls on my channel. So we got the box right here. And with all the goodies, if you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, you guys saw the little sneak peek that I put up on my stories. But oh, such cute packaging, by the way. Everything was packaged like individual in bubble wrap y todo eso. But of course, I took it out and I got the foundation, I got concealers, lippies, eyeshadow palettes, the whole thing, girl. I'm actually gonna be pulling up their website because I like to be accurate when it comes to my details, when it comes to the pricing y todo eso. So let's go and I'm gonna begin with the foundation. I'm gonna review them in the order that I'm gonna be applying them. Here we have the Meet Your Hue foundation and it does retail for $36. Pero, no me lo van a creer, amigas, I'm looking at the website right now, it is on sale for $18, so it's literally 50% off. And I have good news, just in case you guys wanted to know, I do have a discount code with them. And my discount code does work only for the, for the foundation. It doesn't work for anything else that's on sale, but they did let me know that for the foundation, they are including my discount code. So you can get it for $18 plus my 20% off. Girl, that's like 70% off. So if you ever wanted to try this foundation, I would say right now is the time. I did get it in the shade 117 light medium. It is medium to full coverage. Let's open this girl up. Here's the packaging, super pretty. I love the frosted packaging on this. I love when foundations look like this. It is very like, kind of heavy duty, you open her up, it does have this kind of little pump right here, super pretty to look at, I love how it has like meet your hue all the way around on the packaging, so let's go right in. Oh, better wait, I don't even think I have anything on my face, let's go ahead and prime my face, because I can't just go in like that girl, like I don't know about y'all, but I need to put on any kind of primer on my face, especially like pore filling primers, porque... My pores be open and loud and deep as hell, girl. We do not want to be looking all up in my pores. I'm using the Frankie Rose, what is it called? The Prime Addiction Primer. Honestly, it's my go-to. I love this primer. Okay, there we go. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, we're gonna try out the foundation. So, I'm excited about this one. I love trying out new foundations. I don't know, I just I just love it. So, um, I'm gonna put some pumps to the back of my hand like this. Oh, it looks a little light for me. By the way, this probably would have been my perfect shade. I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm just judging it by the color. But I did get a 10. I've been out in the sun. I've been in the pool. So if it doesn't match me, I knew it. It's all good though. You guys already know that in this channel, we make everything work. But right now, what I'm gonna focus on is the formulation, the coverage. That is nice coverage. Damn, girl, look at that. And that's medium to full coverage. Now imagine if I add another layer, I will like definitely get that full on coverage. But you know what, today, I think this is good enough for me. It makes my skin look very pretty though. Let's add it. I'm gonna do it to half of my face like I always do, just so we can do like a little comparison. And whatever's left over, I like to apply it on my forehead. I don't like to go heavy on my forehead. 
I don't know why, but the main concentration of the like the full coverage, I like to leave it right on the cheek area where I have discoloration. But on my forehead, I don't feel like I need that much. Okay, guys, let's do a side by side comparison. So this is the before. You guys can see my redness. You guys can see all my imperfections. Y luego, this side girl. Oh, she looks good. You know what? I think I think it is my shade. Look at my neck. Everything kind of matches, right? I've been meaning to get myself a microphone, so you know the audio quality could be better. I don't know why I haven't gotten it, but can you guys imagine me with a microphone? Like I don't even know how to be quiet. I wouldn't even know how to do ASMR. I want to try it though. Like I want to like get some nails and then touch the microphone. I think that would be funny because girl me. I'm not quiet. I'm gonna tap off the excess on my eyeballs because I can see my veins and they're kind of driving me nuts. So. so what are we thinking? This is a full face of the Meet Your Hue foundation. I honestly got scared in the beginning. I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be too light for me. Pero now that I have it on my face and it warmed up into my skin and I'm looking at it compared to my neck, I think we got a good match. So if you guys were on a hunt to try out a new foundation that's medium to full coverage, go on to the website. Y mira, no les miento, girl, $14.40 for this foundation right now. Go on. Now we can move on to the concealer and dude, I'm looking at their website and this one's also on sale. Let me check if this one, um, también, I could use my discount code on it because it is 50% off. Usually the retail value is $24. Right now they have it for sale for $12. Oh my God, girl, yes, you can. So right now on top of the 50% off, like the foundation, you can also use my code and you can get this concealer for $9.60. I'll link everything down below according with my code and everything. Girl, that is a hookup, especially if this comes through, girl. I am excited. So here is the Meet Your Hue concealer. I did get it in the shade 10 light. And when you open her up, as see se ve. And let's look at the applicator. Oh, it does have a big old doe foot applicator. So let's go right in. I'm gonna put a couple taps right here. I'm gonna go in little by little. I wanna see how the coverage on the, oh girl. Damn, that is full on coverage. I like that formula. It's pretty thick. Blends out beautifully. Oh my god, look at that inner corner girl. Wow. Hold up. Let's go ahead and add some right there. And I was like a little nervous. I'm like, did I get it a little too light? But on no, it looks pretty good. I mean, I do like bright under eye concealers. Oh my god, girl. See my pasta de chile on this one. I put a little bit too much pero. Yeah, dude, this is like really, 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 really full coverage. Like, are you seeing this? Oh my god, dude. Like, even if I wanted to add another layer, I want to see if it's buildable. I always like to test that when it comes to concealers. Because I want to see if it cakes up or not. And I'm only putting one dot because you guys saw a little bit did go a long way. So I just want to see if it builds up and how it builds up and how it blends. Oh girl, that just made it even more full coverage. But the blend is beautiful. My under eye girl, you can't even see anything under there. It's all covered up. Add some right there. I'm not gonna lie, amigas, I am heavily impressed with this concealer. Like not only do you have the full on coverage, but it just blends out so easily. And it doesn't cake up. I, I don't see no cakeness. It looks gorgeous. It blends it beautifully also to the foundation. So they both work well and hand in hand together. Let me contour real quick off camera and I'll be right back because we do have a cream blush to try out. Okay, I mean, guys, we are contoured, girl. We snatched the nose up just a little bit and now we can add a little bit of color to the face because we definitely need it. So me mandaron a cream blush. Let me show you what it looks like. It's super cute. This is a limited edition heart cheeks blush stick and it does retail for $22. They did send over the shade Passion, which looks super cute. Oh my god, it's a little corazón. Look at that. Tell me that is not the cutest blush stick you have ever seen. And when you open her up, oh my god. That is adorable. Let's go ahead and add some right here. Oh, that's a pretty color. I'm going to use the back of the sponge and just kind of like blend it in. Hold up. Where did it go? Let me add a little bit more. <laughs> It kind of disappeared because it's a nice color. Maybe I needed to add a little bit more. There we go. And gently, or maybe because I'm using a sponge. What if I use a brush? Oh no, there we go. There we go. Ooh, that looks beautiful. I kind of want to do this. Hold on. Let me try to see if I could stamp it. Let me do. <gasps> Look how cute that is. 
is. Let me do a little stamp right here. I know I'm gonna need more blush, but oh my god, that is such a cute little thing like to do on Instagram. I'm gonna put a bunch of little hearts all over my face. That's so cute. But realistically, voy a necesitar un chingo, so let me add some of this like all over. Let me just swipe it out. There we go, that's how I was supposed to apply it. And then blend it in. Blend, 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 girl, because we do not want some harsh hearts on her cheeks. I mean, that's the look that you're going for. Oh my God, this is so cute. And I've been using a lot of cream blushes as a base for my powder blushes because, dude, it does make a difference. At first, I thought people were like, you know, exaggerating, saying that you need cream blush and then a powder blush for it to last all day. No, dude, it really does matter because I was tired of, you know, putting powder blushes over and over throughout the day. And then when I started using cream blushes, I was like, Mmm, that's what I was missing. And if you want to use it for like a no makeup makeup look, definitely this could be a blush that you can go for. But like me, I've said a million times, I love full coverage. So I'm gonna use it as a base. Okay, I mean guys, I'm gonna set my face off camera and I'll be right back so we can continue on to the next product. And we're back. So we got the complexion all on lockdown. This is what she's looking like. And now we can play with some eyeshadow. Oh girl, you guys know how much I love to play with eyeshadow. So we're gonna use this palette right here. This is called the Baked Browns Palette and it does retail for $32. By the way, if I didn't mention, I love the packaging on everything. It's so pretty. I love how simple it is. Uh, on the back it does say that it is cruelty free, paraben free and talk free it does have the shade names in the back just in case you know you wanted to see it on the outside packaging and when you open her up i have not seen it in person so i bet almost a bit oh pretty completely different packaging it is very simple and i love 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 simple and when you open her up i see seven that's the beautiful color story I like how it's like a gradient from lightest to deepest. And you know what? I love these kind of eyeshadow palettes, especially on the go when you're traveling. You don't have to like overwhelm yourself with all kinds of colors. It makes it simple. Like you are gonna create a look out of this. You want something neutral, you want something smoky, something simple, this is the way to go. Oh, and it does come with a nice little brush, so it is dual-ended. And we're gonna work with this because I do wanna try it out. I'm gonna do a nice, simple look, not too crazy, nice and smoky. And we're just gonna go right in. I'm gonna take the shade Deserted. Oh, there is quite some fallout, so be careful with that. I'm gonna tap it into my crease. I'm gonna use this as a transitional shade and right off the bat girl you see that pigment right there so this is beautifully pigmented and blends out gorgeous oh my god I didn't think that using a small little brush will work out this way honestly because I'm used to using like big fluffy brushes for blending out transitional shades but I kind of like the fact that it's this small and I'm able to like to precise blend. The only thing that I am having some fallout underneath my eyes, I should have put a little bit of uh, setting powder, but it's all good in the hood, girl. We're gonna make this work. So now let's get into the shade Rock Bottom. I'm gonna gently tap that into the outer corner. I do know that this is pigmented just by that first shade. I'm gonna smoke it out. Oh my God, girl. You see what I'm talking about? Look how deep and pigmented that is. And that's such a beautiful, rich shade exactly what I like to put on the outer corner. Let's go ahead and tap some more in right here and then blend out. I'm not gonna lie, I am loving the tiny little brush. I don't know, just something about the size, it's like able to let me like blend out exactly in the areas that I want to without it like, you know, making a mess and going all over the place. So, I don't know, maybe I need to try using smaller brushes now. Super pretty. Now I'm gonna use the other side of the brush and I'm gonna take this shade right here which is called Tea Light and just tap it on there. Yeah, ver, a ver. I'm gonna place it all over my lid. Like I said, a super simple and natural look. Blending it a little bit further right there where those shades meet. And bam, girl, you got yourself a nice little simple cute eye look. I'm gonna bring it to the outer corner right here. I'm not gonna bring it in too much, but just keeping it outside in this outer corner. Barely even going in, like tapping into the shade because I don't want it too deep. 
Now I'm gonna do my other eye off camera, pop on some lashes, and I'll be right back so we can finish off with the lips. Alrighty, amigas, I am back. And now the only thing that we have left is the lippy. So I do have three lip products right here this one i'm actually gonna save for reels on instagram so if you guys want to see what this is head on over to my gram i'm probably gonna post it by next week but we're gonna focus on this lippy right here because this is gonna be more um matching towards the eyeshadow that i have right here so we do have a lipstick and a lip gloss i'm gonna check out the shades first and then i'll dictate whatever lip pencil i'm gonna use but here we have a liquid lipstick this one's in the shade heartbreaker and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this all over instagram such a beautiful packaging with that kind of applicator so i kind of have an idea which lip pencil i'm going to use which is this one right here it's my go-to lip pencil i've been using it non-stop and it's from ColourPop. it's in the shade bff3 so i'm going to play this real quick and i'll be right back okay there we go if it's crooked don't mind me because i did it in chinga my battery's about to die so i'm like trying to quickly rush through the lippy part but i'm gonna add the matte liquid lipstick i believe it's matte right yeah okay so this one's in heartbreaker again yeah vera. oh that is a pretty color oh has a nice little scent to it too formula is nice and thin pigmented Oh, that's pretty right there. Dude, this formula is really good. It's super lightweight and it has that coverage that you're looking for. It is beautiful and it's not sticky whatsoever. It doesn't feel dry. Now let's go in with the lip gloss. So this one is called the Stay Glossy Lip Gloss. I did get it in the shade Don't Be Shy. Oh, that's funny. Don't be shy. <laughs> shy or chai, whatever. I see what they were trying to do there. And let's see how this one looks. Oh, same type of packaging except the matte liquid lipstick has a frosted type of packaging and this one's nice and clear as you guys can see if it ever focuses on the lid there we go and here okay now camera you are not going to do this to me right now let's try that again and here's what the packaging looks like again the same type of applicator so i'm just going to tap this on my lips just like that and it is slightly pigmented as well oh there we go Oh, that's a beautiful lip combo right there. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, yeah, girl. Oh, yeah. I feel like these brands do their research when they send me products. Like, they know what kind of lippies I like. And because this one's like literally right up my alley. You guys already know that I stay rocking these type of lip products. Dude, that is beautiful. The gloss is on point. It doesn't feel sticky whatsoever. It's not slimy, not thick just glossy and here we are with the final look i mean guys what do you guys think look at the glam look at the eyeshadow look at the lippy honestly i liked everything there's not like much of a critique that i can give it i love the full coverage to the foundation i love the formulation the concealer girl it was bomb you know the eyeshadow palette that one girl i can't believe that i've never tried out their eyeshadow formula before it is super like pigmented it blends out to tea and then the brush that it came with girl ni se diga it kind of made me open my eyes like girl you need to be trying out different kinds of brushes also the cream blush i thought it was super cute like the packaging a super cute detail but i do want to try it out with like a no makeup makeup look because i already know that it's going to come through on that kind of look but i mean it still did its thing other than that the lippy dude you guys already know that these kind of lip combos are my go-to the formula though on these lippies are honestly badass the liquid lipstick was super lightweight pigmented the gloss was like it was just a glass not sticky beautiful honestly everything just came through i loved each and every one of these products highly recommend them try them out yourself girl and let me know what you think so that is it that is all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up do not forget to follow me on all my social medias you guys can find me at alma rivera beauty on instagram facebook and tiktok do not leave my channel before subscribing girl and i will see you guys on the next one bye